All right, let's face it. First impressions can matter a lot. The first few things women notice in a man can either make or break attraction. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you the top five things women first notice about you, which goes a long way to determine if we'll date you or not. Once you learn what these things are, you'll know exactly how to grab a woman's attention in any environment and quickly make her interested in you, which means meeting and attracting women will become easier than ever. Landing dates will become much simpler. And most importantly, you'll have a massive edge over every other guy trying to get the girls you like. So sit back, avoid distractions, and watch this video to the very end. I'm Marnie, and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. Every week, I'm gonna give you the no BS insider information about what women really want, plus instantly effective methods to win over any girl you like. So hit that subscribe button now so you never miss a video. And let's get started. Here are the five things women notice first in a man. Number one, they notice his presentation. On many occasions, I've mentioned that a guy's natural looks don't matter to us women. And that is 100% true, it does not. But that doesn't mean how he presents himself doesn't matter to us. If a man is a well-groomed, has a nice hairstyle, smells great, and wears clothes that fit and suit him, we're bound to pay attention and be open to interacting with him. Why? Well, firstly, because most men these days don't pay attention to their dressing and grooming. So. When we see a man who has put some time and effort into his presentation, he immediately stands out from the herd and captures our attention. Secondly, a man who has put his time and effort into his presentation sub communicates some important things to us. For instance, it tells us that he respects himself enough to take care of himself. It tells us that he's mature, responsible, and thoughtful, which by the way, many guys are not these days. And it also tells us that he believes he has value to offer to this world. Why else would he take the time to present himself so well? On the contrary, a man who doesn't take care of his presentation signals all the wrong things to us, like how immature he is or how he doesn't respect himself enough and basically turns us off before we even talk to him. In simple words, he damages his chances of making us feel attracted to him at the very first glance of him. Now, let me remind you again, presentation has nothing to do with natural looks. It's all about packaging your natural appearance in a proper way. That means taking care of your skin, getting a nice haircut from time to time, wearing clothes that fit and colors that suit, getting some regular exercise and showering on a daily basis so that you smell great. Those are the basics of proper presentation and any man can do all of that regardless of how he naturally looks. And when you do all of that, as in put time and effort into your presentation, you make a great impression on the ladies before you even speak to them. Which reminds me that I needed to tell you about this video's amazing sponsor, Tiege Hanley, an amazing skincare line for men that is super affordable. Tiege's level one system comes with a daily face wash that you use both morning and night, an exfoliant scrub that you use twice a week, and two moisturizers, an AM and a PM moisturizer, which we all need. If you have crow's feet, dark circles, or puffiness around your eyes, upgrade to their level two, which comes with their amazing amazing eye cream. And if you want to fight lines and wrinkles, check out their level three, which comes with super serum and boom, you're done. And because they're sponsoring today's video, if you click the link in the description, you'll get a free toiletry bag with your first box. So click that link and get started for only $25. All right, here is the second thing women notice first in a man. Number two, his non verbal behavior. This is perhaps the biggest creator of a first impression. Non-verbal behavior includes body language, your voice tonality, and your face expressions. And it can reveal the truth about a man's character more than anything, which is exactly why it's so important. We get to experience a guy's authentic personality by noticing his non-verbal behavior. For example, as we look at a guy, if we see he has closed or contracted body language, meaning things like a hunched posture, slouched shoulders, crossed arms, and so on, we can tell that he's not confident, or at least in that moment that he's not confident. We can tell that there's some tension or fear holding him back. On the contrary, if we notice he has an open, expansive body language, meaning he's 
owning the space he's in, he's got a straight posture, relaxed shoulders, uncrossed arms, and so on, we can tell that he's more secure, he's fearless, he's confident, which in turn sparks attraction in our minds. Similarly, we also notice his voice. If a man is speaking in a quiet voice, it communicates nervousness and discomfort. It shows that on some level, he feels threatened in that moment. He doesn't want to draw that much attention to him. He wants to be unnoticed. He doesn't want people to see him. Whereas on the other hand, if he's speaking with a loud yet low resonant voice, it communicates that he's a strong alpha male. He's not afraid of attention. He invites it because he knows he's a confident, high value individual. Another huge nonverbal cue is eye contact. A man who avoids making eye contact with people is most certainly shy and nervous. There's some kind of fear or insecurity holding him back. If he can't look at you, then <laughs> that means he's not feeling great about himself. He probably feels like he's not on the same status level of the person that he's talking to. Whereas on the contrary, Someone who makes and sustains eye contact when interacting with people clearly signals a sense of comfort, charm, and confidence, which as you know, is very appealing to us women. Now, I hope you've gotten a fair idea of how nonverbals work and how we notice them. Nonverbal behavior says a lot about you and your personality. And since women are primarily attracted to a man's personality, we pay attention to and value nonverbal behavior a lot, even more than your verbal, verbal behavior. I can't even speak, but I'm talking about what you say. So if you want to gain some quick points with women wherever you go, if you want to get their attention and trigger attraction fast, manage your nonverbals properly. Practice having good nonverbal behaviors. Just doing the basics like having open, expansive body language, taking up space, making eye contact, speaking loudly, and so on can be more than enough to be perceived as more attractive by women. All right, number three, how he interacts with other people. How a man treats and interacts with people other people is quite important to us. And it's important to us because it gives us an idea of how he may treat us or the people in our lives. So if he's someone who is a jerk to other people, behaves rudely, doesn't show any respect and so on, we know that's not the type of guy for us. Or hopefully that's not the type of guy for us. And if he's that guy who lashes out on waiters, baristas, or other service people for the smallest of mistakes, if he's unkind to kids and older people, if he's constantly insulting and one downing his friends, we assume that he'll just behave the same way with us and our family and our friends and the people in our lives. And why would we want a man like that in our lives? Why would we want to be mistreated like that? On the contrary, I like saying on the contrary, if he treats other people well and engages with them happily, that's a great sign. If he's the guy lavishly complimenting the waiter, taking an interest in the store clerk's life, encouraging and praising his friends, making people smile that he doesn't even know, and so on, he gains a lot of attraction points in our head. We get a sense that he'll treat us well if we're with him, and he won't be an obnoxious jerk. That makes us much more open to talking to him, getting to know him, and maybe even going on a date with him. All right, number four, how other people react to him. Apart from how a guy interacts with others, we also pay close attention to how other people react to him. And the reason for that is very simple. People's reactions work like a very strong source of social proof. Social proof that gives us some solid insight into his character. Is the guy safe to be around? Is he fun to hang out with? Is he a strong alpha male or some weak beta male? Questions like that can be quickly answered by looking at the social proof available to us. If other people are interacting with him and seem to be around him, then he must be safe to be around. He's most probably not some criminal or psychopath or something like that. If people are paying attention to him, investing into the conversation happily and laughing with him, he's most probably quite fun and interesting. If people are following his lead in the interactions, treating him with respect and reacting to his emotional state, then it's obvious that he's an alpha male. He's a leader, which we like. On top of all this, the bandwagon effect also comes into play here. If we see that the majority of people he interacts with like him, we automatically jump on that bandwagon. It's that natural human tendency to follow the herd and do what other people do. Because other people like him, we subconsciously start to like him too. This is mainly what happens with that stereotype of the popular kid in high school. I'm sure your high school had that guy too. 
It's the guy who almost everybody in the school knows and every girl likes. Girls who haven't even talked to him once seem to have a crush on him. And the reason for that is social proof that Mr. Popular had a lot of social proof working in his favor. A lot of people liked him and reacted to him in a very positive way, so other people started to do exactly the same. In fact, this observation of other people's reaction is also why many celebrities and social media personalities are liked. Many people just start to like a celebrity because others seem to like them. They think they consciously made the choice, but it was actually a subconscious influence based on social proof. Anyway, you can see how crucial and powerful other people's reactions can be. Yes, it might not necessarily tell us the truth about the guy's character. Things may not be accurate, but in terms of first impressions, it can totally influence our minds a lot. All right, number five, how he reacts to us. This happens in two stages. Stage one, we notice how he reacts to seeing us for the first time. Does he look at us and immediately look away as if he got busted for doing something wrong? This can mean that he's shy and insecure. He doesn't feel comfortable about his sexuality or who he is as a man. Or does he look at us in a casual, emotionless way, you know, with a fairly blank face for just a second or two. That can mean he's probably not interested in us, in which case we might feel there's no point thinking about him any further. Or does he look at us in a calm but playful way with a smile or a smirk on his face? This means he's a confident man who's interested in us, in which case we'll be quite open to talking to him further. And that leads into stage two, which is how he reacts to us in the first few minutes of conversation. Look, in the first few minutes of conversation, most women do not invest that much. We're still on our toes a little bit. Yes, if we've noticed the other stuff about you and you seem like an attractive guy, we'll open up and get chattier faster. But still, at least for the first one to three minutes, we screen you a little bit more. We wanna see if you can lead the interaction. We wanna see if you really are the confident, attractive, high value guy that the other evidence suggests you are. Sometimes we'll even throw some challenges in your path to test your character. That might mean things like giving very short answers to your questions, showing a lack of interest, teasing you in a playful way, or even throwing a direct insult. The only purpose of these challenges or tests are to see how you react. Do you feel pressured, lose confidence, and crack immediately? Or do you hold your calm, remain confident, and keep leading the conversation? The men who do the latter are very rare, but they make an amazing impression on us that lasts. And we come to realize that they truly are a confident, attractive guy who have high value. And it's at this point that we're fully hooked and we start to engage and invest more in the conversation. Now here's the deal. Like I mentioned earlier, men with that level of confidence are rare. They are. Based on my own personal experiences and my life as a dating expert, I'd say maybe five to 10% of men have that high confidence. And the reason for that is actually quite obvious. Most men have a lot of limiting beliefs, fears, and insecurities that are holding them back. They feel they can't really succeed at attracting beautiful women. Many of them have had bad experiences before that have solidified these limiting beliefs that they have, which are not real, but it solidifies them. Plus to top all of that off, all the social conditioning that happens through the news, TV, movies, advertising, and so on, which basically tells them how they're not enough as they are and how they must look a certain way, make a certain amount of money, ride a certain car, and other stupid nonsense like that. Well, all that stuff just strengthens their insecurities and these limiting beliefs. And the good news is, if you're a guy who can relate to this, if you know you have insecurities and limiting beliefs holding you back from getting the women you want, I have a very simple solution for you. Recently, I shot a video where, where I revealed the most effective scientific technique any guy can use to erase all his fears, insecurities, and limiting beliefs related to women and install new empowering beliefs that skyrocket his confidence. It's a technique that the world's biggest leaders, top athletes, and strongest military men use to kill their fears and fuel their confidence. And it's backed by years of research in the fields of psychology and neuroscience. When you start to apply this technique, all your fears, insecurities, and limiting beliefs will wash away and you'll gain a new sense of confidence that you've never experienced before. After that, walking up to a woman, chatting them up and seducing them will no longer 
be a big deal for you. It'll be as easy as talking to your male best friends. So if you're interested in learning more about this scientific confidence boosting technique, click the link on your screen or the link in the description box and check out the video I made. Before making this video, I made 46 men test out this technique and the results were absolutely insane. They saw a 300% increase in their success rate with women. That means they had triple the phone numbers, triple the dates and triple the sexual encounters. What if you had the same experience after using that technique? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be amazing? How cool would that be? I suggest that you do not delay, click the link and check out that video now. Believe me, it'll be one of the most useful videos you ever watch. I'll see you next week.